basically a prompt is just a thought, right? So you provide the AI with a thought and then the AI will take the prompt that you provide and create a form of media based on that prompt. You, you should tell it what, what form of media you want or you pick the um, AI tool that makes that form of media. So in the case of images, we have um, Midjourney. Midjourney only does images. If you were interested in text, you would pick a tool like um, Bing Chat or ChatGPT. Taking time to perfect your prompt is referred to as prompt engineering. So how can we use prompts in research administration? The first way is with any text we want to analyze or change. If you think about this, that would include solicitations, notices of award, including complex terms and conditions, lists of names, for example, to format for an NSF COA document. It can also include any form of media we want to create. That would be charts and tables, images and design elements, text like a budget justification or a facilities page. Basic tips for prompt writing. The first one is very counterintuitive, but negation is difficult to interpret. For some reason, the AI is not very good at this. And if you start saying things like, don't do this, you may find it, it does actually exactly the thing you don't want. Um, I know of a person who tried to make images in mid-journey and kept saying, don't include airplanes. And after about 10 times, right, the AI every single time kept including airplanes in the image. They were trying to make a historical picture, right, before airplanes were invented. So it was very upsetting. So, you know, try to use language that is more positive, like focus on this instead of saying, don't include that. You'll get a better response if you don't use negation as much as possible. The second uh, tip relates to what I said before. AI is not a mind reader. Providing specifics on what you want to get is going to be your best chance at, at getting the result you're looking for. And if you're going to be vague, use that thoughtfully because you'll have more freedom um, from the AI and it'll be a little bit more creative. Using examples. So if you already know you have a specific format in mind, provide the example for the AI so it can apply it throughout the task. So if I'm doing um, an NSF COA form and I know that the names I have are first name, last name, and I want them to be last name, comma, first name, I can say, please format all of the names in the name column from um, first name, last name to last name, comma, first name, like this, Ashley Benz to Ben's comma Ashley. And if you give it more examples where there's maybe a little bit more difficulty, like two given names or hyphenated names, you can help guide it so that it will get everything right on the first time.